The first public hearing on the legislatively approved Wisconsin Gray Wolf Hunt to open October 15th was held Wednesday, June 6th, in Spooner at the Spooner High School Auditorium. Three Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources officials reviewed the approved hunt and took public input. Public concerns were raised about the price of the permit, $100 for residents, and the number of projected permits to be issued, 500. Several said the permit fee should be lowered and many more permits issued. Really a, a discussion, a, a chance for people to provide us input on where we should go with wolf harvest management. So you've already established sort of some um, goals as far as harvest. What are you looking at as far as... The... Yeah, actually the legislature uh, you know, established a lot of the details of the hunt already, but what they did leave open is where the wolf harvest zones would be, how we would draw those on a map, and then what the quotas or what number of wolves could be taken by hunters and trappers within each of those zones. So that's probably the most... Uh, uh, meaty subject we're going to talk about tonight is how many wolves to take in this very first year of the hunt and where they should be taken. Well, I heard you say that high, there was a high concentration of wolves in northwest Wisconsin. Yes. For people in Washburn County, Douglas County, Burnett County, Sawyer County, mm -hmm. uh, what are we looking at as far as possible number of wolves being taken? Well, we're, we're looking at um, in the, what we call our core habitat, our primary range of wolves, as the place where we're going to try to at least maintain a sustainable population. Uh, because we do have a management plan that calls for having at least 350 wolves in the state. We have about 850 now, and we want to make some progress towards that goal this year. And, uh, in that primary range, uh, which includes part of the counties and cities you're talking about, uh, we're looking at 10 to 20 percent of the wolves as a starting point for discussion being taken. In, but in uh, far northwest area, where there's um, quite a bit of uh, problems with with farms or ranches and wolves, we're talking 50 to 75 percent. And as we get closer to the farmland areas, closer to Twin Cities, we're talking 30 to 40 percent of the wolves there. In total. Uh, those numbers would amount to 142 to 233 wolves in the state being harvested this first year on top of, of uh, controlling wolves in problem situations by U.S. Department of Agriculture and, and landowners with permits. And you're projecting a population of wolves is around 800, 850? About 850 based on our winter count. That does not include the pups that are born this year. Okay. It doesn't include uh, lone or transient wolves that aren't picked up in our track surveys, which uh, some people could estimate as high as 15% as more, uh, at least in other studies in other states. I saw in your press release that the, the Native American tribes have requested 50% uh, of the wolf take in the ceded territory. Um, I was a little surprised by that because I thought they were adamantly against taking the wolf off the endangered uh, listing. Yeah, uh, they, they actually have not made a declaration yet as to what they would like to harvest. They're, in, uh, they're entitled to that level of harvest as they are with any game species. Uh, typically they don't declare 50% of any game species in the state for their tribal harvest. So we did meet with them just today at uh, La Couturier, uh mm -hmm. Casino. and. It's a tough issue for them because, yes, they consider wolves their brothers and mm -hmm. don't really want to shoot them or have anybody else shoot them. So we really don't know where they're going to go with a declaration yet on wolves. Would they be issued permits, possibly, uh, Yeah, maybe not use them? Or that would well, kind of defeat the whole we, purpose, wouldn't we it? Have, we have to assume in this first year that if they make a declaration that they intend to harvest that number, and we'll subtract that number from what we make available to state hunters and trappers. Um, after the first year, if they really aren't um, shooting any wolves or trapping any wolves, we can adjust accordingly. Okay. All right. 25% of the overwintered wolves on deer. You throw herd of buck at us, you throw herd control and $2 takes, I mean, thousands of them. I think what needs to be done to get us down to the goal of 350 is to go at it aggressively and sell everybody a tag for 20 or 25 dollars and let them have three tags. And once the goal is reached, do like you said, shut her off that night. You know, the reason they want a wolf season is to reduce mm -hmm. because of the depredation and the amount of money <coughs> the department has been spending because of the wolf. 
And we aren't going to do it aggressively by 500 tags out there. It looks like they're trying to set this up with $100 and make it a trophy type of deal and to regulate it and make more money. But you'll end up making more money if you sell those tags to as many people as want them for 20 or 25 bucks and you're going to get more wolves killed. Mm -hmm. And you can still shut the thing down like you were going to do. Okay. And I think that's what needs to be pushed back to your legislative people if they really want to go after the wolf population. You take the number of wolves you, you want to harvest and you use my number of 401, which gets you down to your population goal, and you multiply it by your time five times, you should really issue 2,005 tags. Um, and I would recommend that you do that, <clears throat> especially since you have the backup framework, the emergency rule, where you can close the seating when your code is reached. Um, I also agree that more tags are probably precedent. I'm, I'm guessing that after the first year, you're going to have a success rate that proves that you can issue more tags. But just at the basic numbers, just keeping it simple, you want to, you want to harvest 401 wolves to get to your population goal. It's, it's impossible to harvest more wolves than that if you close the seeding when you get to that number. Um, so it doesn't make sense to me to issue less tags than what you want to harvest to get to your population. The quality of the health, I think, a lot of people that are out to, uh, I know there's a lot of hard feelings with the wolf being introduced or, you know, making a recovery here in the state of Wisconsin, but I think a lot of people that are going to be out and, and hope to get a license are going to be after, you know, the uh, satisfaction of, you know, going out, whether it's trapping or hunting and having a success, and the quality of the health is something that they're going to look over and have on their wall for, you know, years or whatever they decide to do with it, but I would really recommend that you guys try to push that date back as a start date because of the primacy of the health. Thank you. If any, any of these comments that relate to legislation, we can certainly forward on to the, the bill sponsors. We can't change it ourselves, but we can. What period of time is the DNR looking to get the wolf back down to the 350 goal? Well, that is a very good question, and we haven't come up with a number on that yet. Um, you know, I think in talking with some some groups like the tribes, for example, they're they're looking on the other end, you know, why are you trying in such a hurry to get down there, you know? It might not even be sustainable at 350 is where they're coming from. Well I fully understand. Yeah. yeah I, I wouldn't want to be DNR <laughs> I understand that. But I, I just yeah. personally I, I'd like to see the wolves come down to the three fifty. Okay. You know, I, I don't have an answer for you on that. I, that's all. So far, we're just talking about the first year and what we hope to accomplish and evaluate it and, you know, as the impact of what we expect or not.